Hello everyone and welcome back. If it's your first time looking at the channel, please hit the subscribe button. Uh, it helps us massively as a channel to grow and that is pretty much the most important thing to the channel is growth. Uh, no growth is detrimental. So anyway, we're back from uh, Europe, back with a bang, back here working. I have a couple of things to show you that we've been doing since um, we're back with the days. So. I'll show you what we were at yesterday once we get back home, but um, uh, look, we do a bit of work there for, uh, for um, Ballygarren Farm, Ballygarren Veg Farm, you will find them on Facebook, uh, worth giving them a look up, pretty much uh, an awful lot of activity goes on here, they're constantly doing something, um, you know, between uh, cauliflower and broccoli and leeks, uh, Brussels sprouts, grain, every kind of a thing going on so um you will have seen us bailing straw and bailing bits of silage and water and vegetables for them but they're under uh, massive pressure at the moment um a lot of broccoli to be cut uh, some leeks to be cut and the brussels sprouts now are just starting to start up for them so literally they don't have time to be sitting sitting corn so they asked us will we give them a hand and uh, that's how we are here doing this. I'm using their power harrow and Fiona drill. That's what I'm sitting with and we're plowing here with the 7550 as well. So everything is going okay so far. I'm a complete newbie to this job. I have never before sacked grain. Uh, that's actually a lie. I have sacked grain before but it was... Um, we were setting whole crop and I sat it with our our drill before we converted it into a grass drill and then they broadcasted the grass seed with a fertilizer spreader I think and that must be one of the very first jobs I've done um, that's going back 12 years ago or more so I'm going to check my drill now make sure everything is tickety boom and chat to you then. okay so back in the shed um, just starting a big tidy up here um, uh, this is long, long overdue. Uh, I do bits and pieces from time to time and clean up a bit of rubbish, but uh, getting really stuck into it now and just clean it out. Just scrap everywhere. So, but there's some interesting things um, I'm coming across that I haven't seen in years and they flick back a memory uh, straight away. And I think I'll share a few of these with you. This hitch came off of our TM140 when we got it. The hitch was quite worn. Um, I re if I remember rightly, it's, it was starting to crack. Yeah, look here, hitch was actually starting to crack. Um, so I took that off, and we got one that actually came from a tractor that was exported. Um, at the time, funnily enough, I wound up selling some of them hitches as well myself in later years. But uh, at the time, I had nothing to do with any of that side of it. That's where that hitch came from. That's sitting there for quite a few years now. The tractor has gone since. Um, another few bits. Skimmers off the plow. They've always been stored there because we don't really use them that much. Came across these two. This was before my YouTube days. These are out of a transmission of uh, CVX. I think the problem was in here. These teeth were on damaged um wound up getting these parts second hand from new zealand of all places at the time they were crazy expensive and i just couldn't justify the new ones so i went looking i went looking for some second hand ones and eventually found them in new zealand haven't had to use this either in a long time. That's a frame for taking the gearbox out of a CVX or a TVT. Um, but I will. That was buried under a pile of stuff. I'll store that there now properly because we'll be needing something again, I'm sure, in the future. Um, this was off of our elephant trunk, our double elephant trunk. We made it. It was actually a bit too wide. So what we ended up doing was cutting it here and then plating it. And that's all of that. But um, yeah, just getting rid of all our scrap. Tidy the whole place up, make a job of it, because it is getting messy. So the more and more activity is going on here, 
uh, the more stuff that's just thrown to the side, thrown to the side, and then you end up with like this. So uh, it'll probably take me a week, I'd imagine, to sort all this out, but I'm pretty adamant to sort it 100% this time and be done with it. So that's what my weekend is looking like. This is off a spearhead. Head cover. That holds. Um, oh, here, this, this was cracked as well. This is why this was changed. That basically holds your head on. That's vaulting your head to your head cutter. Um, and that's why that was changed. Obviously, that was cracked and re welded, but pretty much safe for the change. So that's going for the scrap now as well. Uh, top off of a long wheelbase New Holland hitch to fit the TM. You have to cut them off. Get them to fit the TM because um, you have different spacings on the TM, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, yes, different spacings on the TM. So you need to cut that off and well plates on the side of the hitch, as far as I can remember. Drill four holes and away you go. But yeah, that's what that's off. That was probably the replacement for the for the TM one that time. That is half an A-frame off of Ford's major. That goes onto the front axle and holds on, goes back to your sump. But um, that was taken off when we six cylinder engine. Okay, so the clear up continues. Have another uh, look. I'd, I'd say three or four full buckets out of the Ferguson, or uh, on the, you know, on the front loader, the Ferguson is scrap. Ferguson is out working today, so the Volvo here. Um, we went through bits and pieces yesterday. There's a flail off of a hedge cutter flail. Various top links and broken top links. That's a gearbox off of a McConnell or McConnell topper. Bit of a funny story. <laughs> Bit of a rough story, I suppose you could say. Um, the year I was in England, that gearbox, uh, or sorry, I came back from England. I had to do with emulsion. And I'd maybe about seven or eight acres um, done, and the steam started coming out of the gearbox. So I went to inspect it, and the seal had gone in the bottom of the box, and it had leaked out every drop of oil out of the box. So what I subsequently done then is, I think the box was wicked dear at the time. It was about a thousand euro. Took out the gears out of the box. They were obviously mashed. It, they were gone so bad that they'd melted and, and bits had gone over the side of, of your cog so I ground all that back welded um, with hard face and welding rods welded the teeth back up in the gearbox and I think that gearbox done it used to be mad loud the noise out of it but it stayed going and I was changed the idling regular and I'd say that box done another 200 hours cutting before it finally gave up and then I just went away and bought a new gearbox but um, I've done that <sighs> To get us out of trouble before, um, clean down the gears, weld it with hard facing, file, you know, file them down, and well, you obviously won't do it with a file when it's done with hard facing, but uh, clean them down again, make them as I know you're not going to get them perfect, and it's not a long term solution at all at all, but it has got us out of trouble. We burst the chrome wheel and pinion in the class rake um, years ago. Actually, uh, we didn't burst the chrome wheel and pinion, we had a guy driving for us, he hopped it off of a uh, Telephone pole. I threw out the old ones of them actually. I swear they were there. Um, I must have been in, in the other heap of it, but um, I welded up her teeth again, boiled them down, and got us going for. I think I finished the season with it before I had to go in and get new ones, but it did get us out of trouble. That shaft is off of uh, our old TVT. I remember there was teeth missing off that. Yeah, there was teeth broken on that, so that shaft was going out into the front axle onto your front hub, and there was teeth chipped in that. So remember, uh, that would have been an old video, I'd say. That was we would have filmed that. That be changed. That's going for the scrap now. Um, that off the TVT? No, that's off the Ferguson, I think. I remember changing them on the tractors as well. One of them broke at some stage. It says off the Ferguson. Yeah, funny feeling that's off, off the Massey Ferguson. Uh, but we're getting there, slowly but surely. I'll show you now. These tires, uh, obviously I have to change some of them, but I think I'm going to put them on my van. 
It'll make us, uh, it's brilliant to travel, but that'll be a massive help when I put them wheels and tires in it. All terrain tires. Uh, as you can see, a lot more room now. So I will get there. This is to go back to Europe. These are also off of two, I can't even remember what they're off of, but two European tractors. So they'll go back to Europe as well. Um, must move all that stuff over, but I've, I've a corner somewhere tidy there now. Um, going to clean up all that square. In underneath here, going to clean all this up, clean up our bench, hang stuff up, put it in this place. Then what I'm thinking is I'm going to put two uh, tool chests in underneath here that when you're working on something in the bench, you'll just slide out the drawer, you'll have your tools there. So that's what I'm thinking at the moment anyway. But I think uh, it's looking good, so I'm going to stick with it. Keep going, organize the whole place because it's chaos at the moment. But uh, yeah. Um, that's probably it for this week, I would imagine. If you have any good ideas, lads, uh, please share them with me. What you would think would be a good idea to tidy it up a bit more, make it a bit more user-friendly. And I will most definitely take that on board. So share it in the comments there if you don't mind. Tell me what you're thinking. Um, tell me what you think would be a good idea for me to do here. And please share it with me. So yeah, that's it for me for this week. Um... Give it a thumbs up, give, it a, give us a comment, and please subscribe. And we will chat to you in the middle of next week, when hopefully this is all done.